Hi, and welcome to this talking head video where we're going to be answering a question that I recently got in the comments and I've actually had this question a few times as well. And that question is, is PowerShell worth learning in 2024? My short answer to that is absolutely. And let me actually build upon that and give you guys a bunch of reasons why you'd want to still learn PowerShell in 2024. Um, whether it's your first programming language or maybe your second, your third, your fifth, doesn't really matter. I think it is definitely still worth learning. As a beginner, I think it's actually worth learning even more because um, I think it is a very smooth transition over to some other programming languages. But first, let's just start. PowerShell came out, the first version came out actually in 2006, and that was PowerShell 1.0. And then when really PowerShell really took off, I would say it's 3.0, uh, which was back in 2012. Uh, but now in 2024, we've actually had a lot of advancements in PowerShell and you can do a lot more with it than you could back then. So PowerShell can be especially valuable if you're working in like a Windows environment or with a lot of Microsoft products like Azure, Exchange, uh, SharePoint, Teams. Uh, but even that being said, um, PowerShell does have a lot of modules these days that you can manipulate uh, the Amazon Web Services. So you can manipulate AWS, you can manipulate VMware, you can manipulate Drax uh, from Dell as well, as well as a multitude of other systems, uh, all through PowerShell modules that they've created. And even if a service doesn't necessarily have a PowerShell module created for it, you can still use PowerShell and just invoke a REST method or invoke a web request to call upon APIs to get a response back and then do some manipulation on that as well. Just like you would any other programming languages like JavaScript or Python, um, PowerShell can do those as well. Um, but here are just some really prime examples on why I think learning PowerShell in 2024 is still completely worth it and I would definitely recommend it. Um, so as I mentioned, I would even recommend it more so to a beginner just because PowerShell is quite easy to pick up, I find, uh, compared to some other programming languages, especially if you're comparing it uh, to C or C Sharp or C++. Um, it is definitely much easier to pick up. Um, it is fully featured scripting language and you have access to variables, loops, functions, error handling, and very much more. And it's just a super versatile tool. You can create scripts. You can also create GUIs as well as we've seen on this channel. Um, so even if you want to make scripts or if you want to make full blown applications, PowerShell is fully capable of this. And then learning the loops, creating functions, error handling, a lot of that stuff transfers over to other programming language. Yes, the syntax might be a little bit different, but learning those fundamentals in PowerShell, I find, is quite a bit easier than other programming languages just because it's a little bit more forgiving. So you will have to learn a little bit more when you go to those other languages. Uh, but it's definitely a very good beginner language for sure. And it's really used for task automation. So especially if you're a system admin or if you really have any work in IT, if you have repetitive tasks, like a lot of IT work is quite repetitive, you might have to repeat something on 10 servers, maybe 50 servers, maybe over a thousand servers, you have to do the same action. You don't want to be doing that by hand. You really want to automate that so it can save you a lot of time um, with automating and really managing systems and performing those tasks. Um, you can also work really, really well with Active Directory Azure moving files, like I said, from one server to another, even though you can do that with Robocopy, you can fully do that with PowerShell, as well as do some extra detection on whether you want to move that file or not. You can also send automated emails on a schedule with Task Scheduler. You can also deploy scheduled tasks all through PowerShell. You can prepare really nice reports, um, especially with the Microsoft Graph support you can interact with Microsoft Graph through PowerShell, prepare a bunch of reports, export that into an Excel, or as we've seen in this uh, channel as well, is you can even export that to some very nice like dashboards and some reports, which you can either you use PowerShell um, Universal for that, or you could use PS Write HTML for that, 
Both of those make really, really nice dashboards, really, really nice reports. Um, otherwise, you can just export it to a CSV, which works really, really well as well. You can also even use third-party software that really work well with PowerShell, like PowerShell Universal, which we've looked at very recently on this channel, where you can create a full-blown back-end REST API or even a front-end web application all using PowerShell. So you don't really even need to know HTML, CSS, JavaScript. You can make this all using PowerShell. So it's extremely, extremely versatile in what you can do. And like I said at the beginning, PowerShell came out a long time ago. And in that time, it was really only meant for Windows. You couldn't do anything on Mac or Linux or Unix systems. But now what you can actually do is with PowerShell and PowerShell Core, and the fact that it's open source, it is now available for other platforms like Linux, like Mac OS, through what's called PowerShell Core, um, which allows you to use PowerShell to manage those different operating systems as well. Now, some of their functionality might be limited compared to the Windows portion, but it is still out there now. Um, and they are constantly modifying it and making it better. Um, I just think about what the PowerShell commandlets were when I started learning it, which was PowerShell uh, 3.0 compared to now, which we're at PowerShell 7.4, I believe. Um, you can do a whole lot more and it's way easier now as well. So that just makes it another benefit to, maybe you looked at PowerShell back when it was PowerShell 1.0 or 2.0, you didn't really see why it was worth it. It's probably worth it now in 2024. You could do a whole lot more, a whole lot more automation that you can do with it. And it integrates a lot better with a whole bunch of software, even Active Directory, the module for that compared to what it was for PowerShell 2.0 and 3.0 compared to what you can do in 7.4 or even 5.1. It is a vast difference and much more user-friendly. And in general, as I said earlier, it is a super valuable skill in IT, especially for system administrators, DevOps engineers, and really any IT professionals that are really working with Microsoft or really any other software that has a PowerShell module or REST APIs, which is basically anything. Um, so I know something that I've done in the past is I have automated a VMware um, bringing up servers. You can do that completely through PowerShell. You have all the tools. They have a module made by VMware called PowerCLI, where you can do all that automation, which it would bring it very similarly to doing it with Hyper-V, uh, which is by Microsoft, but you can do everything with Hyper-V through PowerShell as well. And like I said, there's even some AWS modules as well, as well as PowerShell is even more widely used now in cybersecurity because a lot of the things is, again, repetitive tasks. Let's say you have a attack script that you already know everything that you want to scan, everything that you want to do. You can actually completely script that in PowerShell and launch it and test your penetration testing skills, your ethical hacking skills as well due to those automation capabilities with PowerShell. And there's even a lot of PowerShell exploits these days, which are completely scripted in PowerShell. So it's very, very useful to know how PowerShell works and all the different security guidelines around PowerShell as well if you're working in IT and that it goes for any position in IT as well. So just as like a really big recap here is I would definitely say that learning PowerShell is definitely worthwhile and worth doing in 2024. And I think that this will be the case for a long time to come as well, especially if you're working in IT. If you're doing software development, Maybe it's not the language for you, but like I said, if you're just getting into software development, maybe you want to take a look at PowerShell. Maybe it can actually help you um, because there are a lot of system um, engineers and software developers that use PowerShell to perform tests because you can use Pester to do all your tests. Maybe you want to make sure that your directory has all the files that you, ha well, you need, like the DLL files or anything like that. You can script that all through PowerShell. And again, if your work is more of a Windows base or a Microsoft environment, I would 100% recommend you to learn PowerShell um, because it will make your life a whole lot easier if you can automate some of those tasks, get some of that time back 
improve your productivity and be able to further advance your skills in IT. That's how I got where I am today is really pretty much all through PowerShell to be quite honest, uh, working at help desk and learning PowerShell while I was there and then developing a bunch of scripts and a bunch of applications using PowerShell to be auto able to automate a lot of the things in our IT department. So that is really the my response to is PowerShell worth learning in 24? Absolutely. Please let me know what you guys think. If you guys have more things that you guys can add on why it's worth learning in 2024 in the comment section, please let us know um, because I think that a lot of people can benefit from it because sometimes people are just afraid to learn it because it might be too late. I definitely do not think it's too late. You are definitely in your prime for learning PowerShell in 2024 with all the new tools and all the new systems out there. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well, and be sure to hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out, and I will see you guys on the next video.